This is sad. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store, get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live and make a video, make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I have not been this discouraged to a certain degree before than after I watched this video. Now, mind you, I grew up in and around environments like this my entire youth. I know what I know what's going on here. These young boys are being taught to hate the police. They are being taught to disrespect authority. As you can see in the video, and I'll play the video here in a second, young and they walking around in their underwear, diapers, no shoes, clothes too big. And I always say this is that just because you're poor don't mean you have to be belligerent. Just because you're poor don't mean you can't teach your children how to respect authority. But I want y'all to watch this video of these little kids and their disrespect for law enforcement. Roll a clip. Ladies and gentlemen, this is learned behavior. I feel bad for these young people because they have a limited future because of what is being taught to them in the environment in which they live in. Unfortunately, this little group of kids, unless God intervenes in some miraculous form, are going to grow up with zero respectful authority. They're going to grow up with disdain for law enforcement when in reality the law enforcement officers are there to help them. And then what's going to happen on a traffic stop when they get older? They're going to have it in their mind that these individuals are the enemy. Even though they're black, they're still the enemy. And nobody's going to fix that. Nobody's going to correct the script. And with that impending hate, they're going to go out and do something belligerent, get shot and killed by the police, and mama going to get on TV as if she wasn't raising them to be like this and say her baby ain't never did nothing wrong. He was turning his life around. It's sad. Now, in that video, explain to me how many white people are in that video. How many white people are in that video? Where, where's the white man at? Where's the white cops at? These are young black kids against black cops taught to hate, not love and appreciate, not be inspired to one day serve your own community. These type of things are the things I talk about because I grew up just like this. Hanging around my cousins, we had this perception of police, perception of the white man, perception of America that was ingrained in our minds that were not realistic. I wish that somebody could get in the face of these kids and tell them you're loved, you can be whatever you want to be, work hard in life. Just because you start here in the projects don't mean you have to live here. Don't mean you can't go on and be great things. Respect authority, even if you don't agree with them. You respect authority. I wish somebody was there to hug these boys, put some clothes on their back, walking around barefooted, probably eating top ramen every day. This is our own fault, man. These are, these are our people teaching our people to be degenerate. And I don't know what other way to say it.
It's very sad. And I remember being young, thinking just like these little kids, for no reason. And I realized when I got older, I was lied to. I was living a lie. This deception about police is a complete lie. These men and women go out and protect and serve. There's a few knuckleheads that's in the profession that we all hate. They go out and protect and serve. Little do these young people know that these same ATF police and the other officers are probably there rescuing black people all day long, putting their lives on the line all day long, came from the same community. No, we just crabs in a bucket sometimes, unfortunately. All right, I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out.